In this tutorial we're going to learn about connecting your Blaze writer to your computer using the USB cable. So what you will need, one, your Blaze writer by Procat, two, the USB cable packaged with the Blaze writer, Windows Mobile Device Center, and the Blaze virtual serial port driver. So first you're going to turn on your Blaze writer and then plug in the USB cable into the client port in the back of the Blaze. Windows Mobile Device Center will install. At the end of the download, the MS Sync window will pop open. Click on Accept. This will finish setting up the Windows Mobile Device Center. When you see Windows Mobile Device Center, it'll start out with this window first and then it will go to a larger uh, green window. Here it is. And at the end of your installation it will say connecting and you'll get a check mark that says connected. And that's what we're looking for. Every time you plug in your device this should be, come up and say connected. There we go. We'll close this window. Now we need to download the Blaze driver file. So you're going to go up to myprocat.com and log in with your email address and your password. If you do not have a valid support plan, please call 800-966-1221 and speak to customer service and request the Blaze utility CD. So we're going to log in, then we're going to go to resources, and then to Blaze. In the Blaze window, we're going to scroll down and we're going to select Rider RT Setup. Now this one that says X64, that's for 64-bit computers. If you have a 32-bit computer, then you will choose the i386. I'm going to choose this one as I have a 64-bit computer. Now, if you're using Chrome's like I am, it will download and you can see it down the bottom left. If you are using Mozilla, it will download and show in the top right as a blue arrow pointing down. Click on it and it will show you Rider RT when it's ready. So I'm clicking on it now and I'm going to run it directly from the browser. We're going to click Run. Welcome to the ProCat impression setup wizard. So we're going to go through the installer. We're going to agree to it. Click next. It's going to go to the impression RT folder. That's where we want it to, so don't change it. Click next. It tells us that's where it's actually going to go into that impression RT folder. And then we'll click on install. Now we're going to click next for the null modem emulator. This is the actual virtual serial port. And a, another license agreement, we agree. We get to this window, we don't have to do anything but click Next. That looks perfect. This particular file is going to go into this folder. We're going to leave it and click on Install. It's going to go through its installation routine. And we'll click Next one more we're going to click finish and it's going to launch the command prompt it's going to ask you to enter the next available COM port number I usually choose number one because our laptops don't have fixed serial ports anymore so one is not usually taken so just hit the number one on your keyboard and then the enter key and then click finish now we want to see this working so the first thing we want to do is if you're on Windows 10, you're going to right click on your Start button and go up to Device Manager. And we're going to go take a look for our driver, which will be under 0 COM 0. There's our emulator. Here's our COM 1. That's what we want to see. We want to see these two, these three lines here, and the COM 1. Now we know we're playing with fire. So we're going to go into Winner or to any of your Pro Cap softwares that you have. 
log in and go to your setup area for your real time. So now we're going to go into real time for winter and then into preferences. We're going to go to the writer tab. And we're going to select the blaze and we're going to select COM1. We're going to connect. And once you start writing then you'll be ready for real time. Alright, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.